Hey guys, what's going on? It's Dan and welcome to the daily ride for today, February 21st, 2017. And today's topic is time management and how it affects your gym time. And the reason I wanted to get into this topic today is because I was listening to a few podcasts on business and one of the things that they were mentioning is a lot of people mention they don't have time to do certain things, whether it be they're building their own business or doing what they want to do in life. And realistically, we all have time, everyone has the same 24 hours in a day, but realistically, we have other priorities that come into play that'll take away from maybe some things that we actually want to do for ourselves. And I totally understand that. It's understandable. We have work, you have family, you have a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I get it. But you have to sit back and figure out what your goals are, figure out what your priorities are. I'm sure family's going to come first and work is going to come maybe first or second to some people. However, you also have to look at yourself. You gotta figure out what your goal is. And if your goal is to lose weight or if it's to get into better shape, I know some people out there aren't trying to lose weight and they're actually either trying to maintain or gain a little bit of muscle. But for the most part, a lot of people out there are trying to lose weight. And if that's something that you're trying to do, you're gonna have time in your day to do it, believe it or not. And even though you're saying, oh, you don't know my life, like, you, you know, this is BS, you have more free time than me. Think about your, ideal day. Think about what you're doing today or think about what you did yesterday and I guarantee you you can find a few five or ten minute blocks where you're doing either something completely unproductive or something that you don't need to be wasting your time doing. And if you could condense that into some time either in the middle, in the beginning or at the end of your day, there's your gym time. There's your motivation to get to the gym and get it done. And it's like I said earlier, you don't need to go and do this massive one hour workout. Like that stuff is out of the way. Unless you're doing strength training, like you don't need to do that. All you need to do is get to the gym, start walking on a treadmill, use the bike, use a rower, which is an awesome piece of cardio machine. I highly recommend it. And then maybe do a few machines. Just get moving, stay active. Okay, if you don't stay active, things will start to decline rapidly, especially in the older population. So think about the five and ten minute blocks in your day that you can condense into maybe a half hour or a 45 minute block. Figure it's got to be some time to travel to the gym and this and that. Spend 20 or 30 minutes at the gym and get it done. It's that simple. Stop wasting time. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.